this isn't a raw review. I just wanted to basically talk about this to get this off my chest. And this is something that... I just wanted to talk about it because it was the best part of Monday Night Raw. So, I just want to give you guys my opinion on a certain one thing. Throughout my, in my personal opinion, Raw wasn't that great. I didn't really enjoy majority of the, most, enjoyed most of the show. I only watch it now just for my favorites. I don't really care, really, about really anything. I don't really have my love for it anymore. But, there is one thing I do want to talk about, and that is the Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn segment on Monday Night Raw today. And I just wanted to get this off my chest. For weeks and weeks and weeks, possibly even, maybe even a month or so, because, you know, Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble, but it's actually also technically been weeks since the Royal Rumble. For weeks now, people have been proclaiming that fans are going to turn on Cody Rhodes. Fans are going to turn on Cody, they are going to want Sami Zayn over Cody Rhodes. I think today's episode of Monday Night Raw and the segment between Cody and Sami Zayn literally proves everybody wrong. I think it's proved everybody wrong. Sorry, uh, so, sorry. There's just something on my on, in my eyes. I think it just proves everybody wrong. The people who have been saying for weeks that the fans are gonna turn on Cody. There's no more proof to it. You, you cannot tell me after this segment that the crowd want Co do not want Sami Zayn. Don't want Cody Rhodes over Sami Zayn. Both guys were cheered. Both guys were cheered. The fans did not pick a side. They didn't boo one guy over the other. The fans cheered both Sami and Cody. They wanted both guys. It, it's clear as day these two are the top baby faces in WWE right now. The crowd didn't cho didn't choose one over the other. It was a great segment. And my main problem here is that the fans just do not want to accept Sami Zayn winning the tag team titles over Kevin Owens as a great ending. People just do not want to accept that as a great ending. People think the only ending Sami Zayn should be getting is a, is, the, is, is, is Haluva kicking Roman's head off and winning the Undisputed Championship. And, and look, I love me some Sami as well. I love Sami Zayn. He's been awesome. But you guys have got to understand, this is not what they want. This is not what the company wants to do. Sure, it may sound selfish, it may sound selfish, but you got but Sami Zayn winning the tag team titles with Kevin Owens is a happy ending. It is a happy ending. People, ju you just do not want to accept it as an ending. You don't want to accept it as the happy ending because Sami Zayn gets to become tag team champion with his longtime best friend. Kevin Owens has always wanted to be tag team champion and, he's, and he said the one guy he wants to win them with is with Sami Zayn. How is that not a is how is that not a good ending to the Bloodline story? They're fighting the Usos. They're gonna take away their tag team titles. The Bloodline story is coming to its end. And it needs to end at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns needs to lose those titles. He needs to. So many people are just saying Sami Zayn needs to be the guy. Look, I'm not trying to say Sami Zayn is not deserving a WWE or Universal Championship run. I'm not saying he isn't deserving. He is deserving. I He absolutely is deserving. But that's not the story. The story here is not Sami Zayn beating Roman Reigns. The story has always been about Cody Rhodes ever since he came back. 
Ever since he returned, ever since he returned last year, we all knew that the road was going to be Cody versus Reigns. We all knew this. We all knew this heading in. Sami Zayn defeating the Usos and ending their tag team title reign absolutely is a great ending. It absolutely is. Would you rather Sami Zayn miss WrestleMania completely? If I'm a Sami Zayn fan, I'd be satisfied with this. Why do you think I haven't chosen a side in this entire story? Despite that, I don't really care too much about the WWE product much anymore. This Cody stuff, this Cody stuff does keep me interested. I do watch just do watch for Cody because he's one of the guys I like a lot. And you got to understand is that this has been building up for a year. Cody getting to Roman Reigns has always been the story. It's always been the Cody Rhodes story to get to Roman Reigns. And Sami Zayn, you know, he's done his part. He's done his part in the story. He's going to get his match with Roman, and that's going to be it. Then he's going to get the tag team titles with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is potentially going to return. I can possibly see Kevin Owens returning at the Elimination Chamber. Maybe assist Sami Zayn after Roman Reigns beats him down. But the thing is, as I, as I previously was going to say... Personally, I'm just enjoying the storyline. People, the, the thing is with wrestling fans, they just want what they want. Instead of enjoying the storyline, because the fans love both guys. The fans didn't boo one guy over the other. The fans cheered both guys. And this story is so perfect. It's so perfect. Sami Zayn is doubting himself. He doubts that he can beat Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes is giving him the confidence. How is that a guy that you should hate? He's giving Sami Zayn motivation. He's telling him, finish your story. I'm going to finish my story, and you need to finish your story. How is, how is this a guy to boo? And another thing is that the crowd are now starting to sing Cody's theme song. Adrenaline in my soul, everybody singing along, how can they boo this guy? How can you boo a guy that the crowd is singing the theme song to? I'm telling you guys, Cody is the guy. Whether a few guys agree with it or not, he is the guy to beat Roman Reigns. When, when that referee's hand comes down for the three, after Cody finally puts down Reigns, it's going to be great. Look, Roman just needs to go on vacation. He just needs to take a long break from wrestling. Once his three-year title reign ends, he just needs to be gone. Gone for a long time. Same with the Usos. I, I, mean, I even think the Usos should even take some time off after their title reign. I think they should just take a break. They, 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 they've, done, they've done a lot of hard carrying for so long. And they deserve a break. Roman can probably go to Hollywood, start, his, start a movie career. Maybe take some time off, spend time with his family. You know, like the bloodlines. It's time for the bloodline story to end. It's time for it to end. And, and I've been saying it for the last three years. I don't care who does it. As long as it ends. I've been saying that for a long time. I just don't care who's the one that beats Reigns. I just want it done. I want it over with. It's something that needs to end. We are all ready. We're all ready for the Bloodline story to end. Sami Zayn is the reason the Bloodline are starting to fall apart. If it wasn't for Sami Zayn, Cody Rhodes wouldn't be in this position. If Sami Zayn didn't form cracks in the bloodline, Cody would be screwed. Cody would be screwed if Sami did not 
form cracks in the bloodline. But at the end of the day, it's just something we all need to accept. We can't just enjoy storylines. Fans always have to be all nitpicky. Fans have to be nitpicky. We would, we would rather this over this. How about, instead of preferring something over this, let's just sit down and enjoy the art. Let's just enjoy the story. One other thing that I've been hearing so much about is that, oh, let's make it a triple threat. Let's make it a triple threat for the Universal Championship. Give Sa let Sami Zayn in on this match. No. No, 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 no. And here's why. There has been so many triple threat matches we've had over the years due to Royal Rumble winners. I remember when John Cena returned in 2008, won the Royal Rumble. It was a triple threat at WrestleMania. It was Randy Orton, John Cena, and Triple H. Was that fair to John Cena? Was it fair to John Cena to have his Royal Rumble victory taken from him and to be turned into a triple threat? No, it wasn't fair to him. It really wasn't fair to him. It happened to Edge two years ago. It happened to Edge two years ago in 2021. He won the Royal Rumble, despite that I didn't agree with him winning it. But then they added Daniel Bryan to the match. They added Daniel Bryan. And this isn't the first time Daniel Bryan got added to a title match due to due to reasons. But the first time they did it with Bryan, it made sense at WrestleMania 30. Because people didn't want to see Batista versus Randy Orton. But still, Daniel Bryan got added to, to, to Randy versus Batista. There have been so many times Royal Rumble winners have won their matches and ultimately for someone to come along and steal their opportunity. Just like Charlotte Flair did in 2019 when Becky won the Royal Rumble and Charlotte got added to Becky's match with Ronda Rousey. It, people hated that. People hated that. So why is it okay for Sami Zayn to be added to Cody's match? Just because you guys as the fans feel Sami Zayn deserves this moment? Because you feel he deserves this more than winning the tag team titles with his best friend? I feel Sami Zayn winning the tag team titles with Kevin Owens makes absolutely more sense than including him in the Universal Championship main event. If you win the Royal Rumble match, you are the person that goes to WrestleMania and challenges for the title. You should not be adding anybody else to the match. People should not be getting added. No, they didn't add anybody to Bianca versus Sasha Banks. They didn't add anybody to Oscar when she challenged Charlotte Flair. You gotta understand, when you win the Royal Rumble, you earned it. Yes, I don't agree with Cody Rhodes coming out at number 30. That's the one thing I will say. I will say I do not agree with Cody Rhodes coming out at number 30. I do feel them... What, what, what ruined him coming out at number 30 was them announcing that Cody Rhodes was coming back. I felt they should not have announced Cody's return. And I know we all knew. I know and everyone's response was, well, we already knew he was coming back. I know that. But did, but, but did we think John Cena was going to be back? In 2008? When he, did, did everybody think he was going to be back? In 2008? Did anybody believe that John Cena was going to be back? No. Nobody believed that John Cena was going to be back. Did anybody believe Edge was going to come back in 2020? No. They shouldn't... I feel they should not have announced Cody's return. That's what ruined it. That's what ruined it, and that's what, ru that's what ruined it. They announced his return, and then everybody knew he was winning when they had him come out number 30. If they just didn't announce his return... I think maybe it would have been a bit, a bit... I think it might have been accepted a bit more. But, at the end of the day, I still don't think Sami Zayn should be added just because the fans say so. Sami Zayn is going to get his moment. He's going to get his moment with his best friend, and it's going to be a good way to end the Bloodline story. You have Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. 
take away the tag team titles. And then you have Cody Rhodes be the ultimate hero and take down Roman Reigns and his empire. Sami Zayn and Ke Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes are the two biggest baby faces that WWE has right now. The fans didn't pick one over the other. And I th and that's what's important. I do not think the crowd are turning on Cody Rhodes. And if you still think they and if you still think that that's perfectly fine. You can still think that. But me personally, this segment absolutely, in my opinion, makes me believe that the crowd are not going to turn on Cody Rhodes. Awesome. It was an awesome segment. One of the best things on the show. I didn't care for most of the women's stuff, which is quite unfortunate. Didn't really like the Becky Bailey stuff. Like, I didn't really like that. It was just really stupid. But overall... That's really all I wanted to talk about. Cody and Sami Zayn's segment. It was great. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think the crowd are not going to be turning on Sami Zayn. I think the crowd are going to be very happy at WrestleMania with both of their beloved baby faces getting the ultimate wins at Mania, with Sami becoming tag team champion with Kevin Owens and Cody Rhodes reigning supreme as the WWE champion. That's how it needs to go. Whether if you like it or not, that's just how it needs to go. Thank you so much for listening. Hit that thumbs up. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll see you all next time.